Autónoma de, Universidad Autónoma de Santo Domingo. It's the oldest university in the Western Hemisphere. It was founded in the 1500s. As a result of this, we've developed a friendship agreement with the university that's autonomous, that's becoming an implementation agreement, which means we're going to have faculty and student exchanges. We're going to uh, be going back and forth across several of the schools, the, uh, the um, college as well as um, the School of Education and other schools. Now, here's the important thing. Ultimately, why is this all important? We are here to serve students, and it's important that we have enriching experiences for our students. You've already seen that we've had students who are on the sites, they're doing all this good archeological work, but the culture, the culture of the Dominican Republic is something that's beyond the experience of just going diving. Uh, Columbus was buried on the island for many years, and the church where Columbus was buried is still there. The remnants of the oldest hospital in the Western Hemisphere is still there in Santo Domingo, there to be seen. The house that uh, Christopher Columbus's son built in Santo Domingo is still there. And the kinds of things that Jeff talked about earlier, La Isabella, he talked about six boats still being um, in the bay, wrecks in the bay. One of them is quite likely Chris, one of Christopher Columbus's boat. And with the help of the uh, government and Francis, we're looking to see if we can't uh, locate it. The other things that are important is, when we were down in the Dominican Republic uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we also met with the directors of the USAID, uh, uh, Aid for International Development. Their concerns in the Dominican Republic have to do with improving public health, improving economy, and to help do uh, responsible tourism, ecotourism. Well, in our school, we have a Department of Recreation, Parks, and Tourism Studies that are partnering with us to develop a proposal to go down and develop the sites as natural sites. At the same time, we have a Department of Applied Health Sciences that does community public health work. They'll be involved with the local communities in a participatory way to make sure that tourism is done in a way that doesn't exploit local people but involves them in the project. We hope through the Archaeological Museum, through the Mathers Museum, that we'll be able to develop restorations, recreations of Taino villages. And therefore, the impact on, on economy in a real important way to local people that involves local people should be um, done in a responsible way, something that we can be proud of in the university. Now, at the same time, if we're going to do this responsibly and well, the water systems in the Dominican Republic, most people drink water out of bottles. So one of the things we need to think about is how we develop um, water systems where the water is safe to drink. At the same time, being a tropical country, there are tropical diseases that are often vector-borne, like uh, malaria, dengue fever, um, things, you know, diseases that rats will um, you know, produce. So we have a responsible mission there also with our applied health science department to do this. Now, I want to tell you, um, where's the future go? Under lock and key right now with an IU flag flying over it, we have how many artifacts would you say? Several thousand. Several thousand artifacts under lock and key in La Isabella that came out of the original village waiting to come down to Francis's lab and we're facilitating they're uh, coming down to the left, including a spoon that comes right out of Columbus's own house. Okay? We also have, um, Charlie alluded to it, we found a French ship, a slave ship, that we're just about to get permission, I think, Francis, right? I'm not going to push him on that. But um, the idea here is that this is part of heritage. We want to see this. You know, our goal is not to take off all of the value, valuables and sell them. That's the provenance of the Dominican government. What we'd like to do is develop as a memorial site that's historic, that um, respects the environment, that respects the history and the culture of place. If we do responsible things like this, then I think I use reputation, our contribution to um, Prosperity and peace in our own backyard is, is important. Uh, we need to be a leader, a paragon for others to follow, and that's our goal. Now, in the future, we also have uh, relationships with Bonaire. 
Um, uh, Charlie Beaker is doing work down in Bonaire on some ch uh, ships. We're also talking about, um, you're familiar with Captain Morgan the Pirate? Um, you know, on the rum bottles? <laughs> Um, he has a ship off the coast of Haiti, which I believe is actually in Dominican water. There's some potential talk about this, and Haiti's a country that's off, awfully bereft in terms of public health. So if we can use these kinds of entrees to do other kinds of economic and public health development, this is wonderful, and our students get to benefit by being part of this cultural, cultural interchange with the local university. This is exactly what we hope to do. Now you've had the um, benefit, and I, I think the uh, privilege, of seeing a lot of things that will eventually be on the National Geographic Special, and we're just in the process of signing a contract through I, IU Legal Services, the um, uh, legal counsel, and um, part of that agreement is also to do three or four more shows, including one on the Taino, and uh, you know, if, Cap if Columbus's ship happens to show up or the artifacts show up, there's another program right there. So look forward to other um, exciting things to be coming in the next few years. Now, I would be remiss as dean if I wouldn't say at the end before I send you out there to look at the artifacts, um, these things cost money. If anybody would like to um, make a contribution to the excavation work, we're very happy to accept contributions. You know, deans shake hands like this, so I'd be remiss not to say that. Um, this is good, responsible work, and um, we would appreciate using any contributions in an ethical and productive way. So thank you for coming. Thank you for your attention. Please go look at the artifacts.